thousand bucks because the pig is homesick? Good night, Ma. Thanks for everything. Not that particular. He just got out of prison. <laughs> It was absolutely dreadful. I spent the rest of the evening going in and out of consciousness while a guy with a silver tooth and a scorpion tattoo on his arm tried to grope me through the Vicks vapor rug. Ma. Ma. What's going on? Honey, I'm sorry, but I have to talk to you. Dennis is here. He told Kate that he was sorry for what he did, and they've made up. Which name's only, please? I told you, Cher. <laughs> Bornack. You said Dorothy's Bornack. Oh, sorry. So what's wrong with this Dorothy's Bornack? <laughs> she's still living home, and she's cramping my style. Well, have you done anything in a positive direction to encourage separation? Fish stand at the beach. Thirty years. What makes you such a medical expert? The doctor prescribed those pills, and I only take them when I need them. Have you ever considered the possibility that you might be dependent on them? Are you calling me an addict? Well, I really resent that. You think I can't do without those? My cat was named Lindstrom. I used to make it for him on his birthday and other holidays. Wait a minute. Your last name was Lindstrom. You named your cat Lindstrom Lindstrom? Yes, it was less confusing for him. <laughs> I'm going to clear the stuff from inside. She's something. Oh, a real pistol. The energy she has. Look at this meal she made. It's just... <laughs> stuff I said about preparing for a burial, forget it. Oh, Ma, you finally came to your senses. Yes. Stan's here. Oh. What is he doing here? Well, he needs my signature on some papers, so I told him he could stop by. Oh. Where is he? I left him on the doorstep. I wanted the neighbors to see what a bunch of galoop you married. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. So where is this vacation spot you're going to where they don't allow money? Maybe it's not the flu. Flu doesn't last that long. You ought to go back to Dr. Raymond. I did, Blanche. He said I'm fine. Get a second opinion. She did. She went to Dr. Schlesinger. Well, then, you are fine. Now, you want to hear my idea? <laughs> she is not fine, Blanche. Look at her. I didn't say she looks fine. Boy, I wish we had thought of putting in a pay toilet. <laughs> Hello? It was Dorothy, hide me. What do you think you're doing? I'm giving you the last rights, Mr. Ferguson. I'm not Mr. Ferguson. Then what are you doing in bed with him? The man's dying, for God's sake. Black as ripe olive, skin as smooth and creamy as fresh butter, hair flaming red like a rich marinara sauce. Ma, that's not you. That's your lasagna recipe. <laughs> ah, shut up. Anyway, I was the most gorgeous girl in the village, and I could have my pick of... Um, you think maybe we could have dinner Saturday night? Well, why don't I just check my date book and I'll let you know. Sure. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Isn't this an interesting turn of events? Gosh, I just don't know what I'm going to do. You know, he is a little bit younger than I am. Understanding. Who is buying? Uh -oh. How about Dutch Street? Great. I'll see you Thursday. Dorothy. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> The other team are the X's, and you're all O's. It's easy to remember. 
is the number of points you scored this season. <laughs> now, the tight end decoys, so it looks like we're running a draw play, and then he slips into a soft spot in the zone over the middle, the flanker fakes a screen, then... It's hard to believe you couldn't get federal funding for this. <laughs> Mom says hi. I'm sorry, what? Rose, what's going on with you? You've been acting strange lately. Seems like you're hiding something from me. Oh, honey, I can't lie to you. It's just not fair. I, that transmitter at the McDonald's tonight, there's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about... <laughs> This innocent family is brutally murdered. May I see that, Rose? Sure. <laughs> oh, Rose, excuse me. I didn't know you were out here. It's okay, Dorothy. I was just praying. Trying to put in a good word for tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, just... Working on this stupid flyer for my stupid banquet. It's not important. You can do that by yourself. I'm aware of that, right? <laughs> Stan didn't want to get old. No, I'd like someone to sit on the porch with, hold hands, listen to the birds, watch the grass grow. Blanche, what kind of man are you looking for? Of us! We're the ones who wrote those letters, Rose, and we meant every word. Set and watch a white person dance down the line on Soul Train. <laughs> Look, race is not even an issue. I mean, your daughter is twice my son's age. What can a woman in her 40s possibly have in common with a boy in his 20s? Sex. <laughs> Around the world with him. <laughs> Sophia, did Vincenzo really say all that? Of course not. He's a carpenter. I'm a philosopher. He said he wants everyone out of the garage until the work is completed. But why? Because to an old guy with cataracts, you two look like Swedish stewardesses. Okay, Rose, what is it? It's about Jean. What about Jean? Well, I don't want to shock you, Dorothy, but Jean... I know. Jean is gay. You know already? Well, what about Blanche? No, Blanche is not gay. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, she knows. <laughs> hey, boys, I want you all to meet my best friend, Dorothy. Dorothy, this is Frank and Alan and Paul. Hey, Dorothy. You How boys you? show her a good time. I would, but I want to have one myself. Oh. <laughs> I will be holding the baby next to my bosom. What a magnificent picture. God, I wish that thing didn't look so sickly. <laughs> I don't care if you are paying for dinner. What you want to do is crazy. It's time to go, Sophia. Look, puppy. <laughs> you know, Sophia, actually, you're pretty straightforward. It's a gift. So tomorrow at 9 o'clock, I'll go to work with you. We'll take care of it. Oh, thank you, Sophia. You're welcome, pussycat. I'm not Dorothy. From now on, I'm calling everybody pussycat. It's cheaper than buying new glasses. And the girls... We heard what you were telling them, Blanche, and I am truly sorry you feel that way. Will you tell me why you want to put yourself and Doug through this? You know how people can be. And if my own sister can't accept our relationship, what chance would I have with anyone else, right? Right. No! <laughs> no, what I, what I mean... We get what you mean. Blanche, we don't have to worry about what the world... Cheerful demeanor that we are talking to a new hospital administrator? <laughs> Not even close. Oh, what, you take an antidepressant? Oh, don't be silly. But I was depressed, incredibly depressed. I didn't know which way to turn or where to go. So I stopped in at the coffee shop at the Fountain Rock for a root beer float to meet me out of my misery if something tragic happens. Like I get a fatal illness or I've lost my looks. <laughs> Tell us when, Blanche. Ma, I forbid you to do this. Dorothy, sometimes you forget. I'm the mother here. That has nothing to do... Oh, it's been a wonderful afternoon, Patrick. 
It's been a wonderful week, Blanche. Oh, Patrick, our relationship's just so special, I don't think I can keep it a secret any longer. Well, it's hard on me too, Blanche. But when the time is right, I'll rent a plane and write it in the sky. Oh, Patrick, sit down. Uh, even the window, and it was Rheingold. What was so strange about that? Rheingold. Rheingold was Sal's favorite beer. He was always walking around the apartment singing that damn jingle. My beer is Rheingold the dry beer. Think of Rheingold whenever you buy beer. It's not bitter, not... Per mantenere la finestra ferma bisogna trovare prima di tutto le, eh, le dobriche. Drill a toggle bolt, anchor with a 5 16th bit, and might have cut the quarter inch plywood after you attach the studs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to be Popeye. Hiya, Jay. What can I do for you? We like the best table in the house. You got it, buddy. Oh, this is great, thanks. And we'll have the usual. All right. Are you sure this is the best table in the house? Did you get us butter when you sat down? No. And this is so nice to see you again. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> now, you two can get reacquainted on the way. These are your tickets for the concert in the park. It starts in 15 minutes, so you better hurry up now. Bye. Oh, have a good night. Good, night. good night. I was never any good at blind dating. I always felt so awkward. Oh, Dorothy, I have a sure fight. Just an emotional owie. And do you know why? Because I like myself. <laughs> the new me is starting to get honked off. <laughs> Look, I'm lonely and scared and you're having a party. Can I come in or not? Look, Carol, now I am going to be honest here. <laughs> I ever heard anybody say I'm so mad I could scream and actually do it. <laughs> it's like saying I laughed all the way to the bank. I never saw anybody do that either. <laughs> I did all this work, Rose. I worked so hard. Here's a freshly squeezed potato juice. <laughs> well, cousin Dak played getting to know you through the hole in his windpipe. <laughs> Tell me, Rose, did you ever accompany him through the hole in your head? <laughs> oh, Sophia, honey, would you mind getting that, please? No. If it, no member of your family was ever a returning champion on Jeopardy. <laughs> anyway, that's why I have to speak. Oh, I've dreaded this day coming. I just can't do oh, it. Rose, come. Down, honey. Now listen, I know an easy way to get through this. The way... Mental reasons. No, your brother Phil hit it there. <laughs> Used to like to wear it when he visited the firehouse. <laughs> anyway, we got to the school and I walked you to your classroom. And as I turned to go, you started to cry, Mommy, Mommy! <laughs> He got lucky, and they now live on Maui. <laughs> oh, it's really wonderful. A 65-year-old man with gout learning to windsurf. <laughs> I hope... I don't care what Dorothy says. I'm not spending my vacation in New York. Well, you might be interesting. I've never been to New York. You haven't, Rose? I'm shocked. You're so cosmopolitan. <laughs> Well, take it from me, you're not missing a thing. The people are rude, streets are full of criminals, everything. <laughs> there he is. I've got his eyes. I know. And uh, here he is in uniform. But wait. Is that him on the boat? Well, I'll be. I guess he did go fishing. I mean, why starve myself to the point of, of thinness if I know that I could die tomorrow? I mean, I, why not eat the chocolate cake? What chocolate cake? The chocolate cake in the refrigerator. <laughs> you know, you have a point, Dorothy. Um... I am pretty good at that. Oh, you could charm the pants off anybody. I have to believe that, otherwise I was easy. <laughs> but, Dorothy, it's, it's different this time. Sure, sure, I've scraped the bottom of the barrel before, but this time I don't even have a barrel. Oh, Stan, will you stop whining? It's pathetic. That's the most... Oh, 
Oh, and Mrs. Montez found her cat. I'll bet she's happy, too. Not exactly. She found it under a Jeep Wagoneer. <laughs> And she got in trouble, if you know what I mean, Dorothy. Kanak and up and Schwingel. <laughs> she knows what you mean. Anyway, her boyfriend, Jutz Hernsberg, St. Olaf's only bald high school student, he died. Well, he did die, in fact. <laughs> then at the cemetery, Beatrice Lundqvist, his wife, kept screaming, he's alive, he's alive, I can hear him from the grave. Well, everybody thought it was the hallucinations of a grieving widow, so they sedated her. But when she was... Wedding elves still busy packing their tiny bundles. Wedding elves. <laughs> it's that cheap hair dye she uses, it finally ate through. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're doing fine, Oh, Blanche. May, honey, so if you're using too much rice. Fine, this elf quits. <laughs> Once ago, it was a very difficult decision for me, but after a lot of soul-searching, everybody agreed that I could do more good on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> I guess these last four months have just been one big... Really, really careful. <laughs> Dorothy Stan's here to see you. Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> sorry to barge in on your meal. Oh, it's all right, Stanley. Would you like some spaghetti? It's really delicious. Did you make it? No. I'd love some. <laughs> ...to a saint, and I'm going to tell him to work less I'm lonely? Don't you think St. Francis of Assisi's wife had a similar problem? Don't you think she said, Frank, enough donkeys? <laughs> so what do I do? Ask George to cut back on his practice because I don't want to eat alone? Oh, no, don't do that. I couldn't possibly go to work. <laughs> oh, remind me, before you leave, I went back to the bakery and got your mother some Anna's cookies. You don't have to try so hard. You know, to be honest, I still can't believe how much my mother liked you. Yeah, I liked her too. One thing puzzled me, though. When Front is the first step back. I think Bertram Russell said that. Or was it Nipsey Russell? I get them confused. They're both so witty. <laughs> You're right, Grandma. I'm not fine. He really hurt me. I feel so alone. Hey, honey, you are not alone. You have your family with you. And your grandma and your... Hi, Rose. Tell me, did you get a chance to play around with those lyrics I gave you? Yeah, listen to this. Hey, that sounds great. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. From the top? Oh, that sounds so good. Wait, this is exciting. Just think in less than 24 hours, Gil Kessler could be city councilman. Now, I'd love to get excited, Rose, but no matter what happens, I'm going to get stuck cleaning out that peeing angel punch bowl. <laughs> Hospital administrator. But I'll never get it. I'm not qualified. I'm too old. What time is your appointment? 8.30. All right, let me see your resume. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. What's it? Oh, home ec major at Rockport Community College, six months at St. Paul's Business School. To be with you, Rose. But the cheese man is looking for you. Rose, don't worry. So, hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, oh, my oh, God. You, how did you find me? Time to say goodbye, buddy boy. Carl, Miles, as flattering as this is, I... I don't want you... Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the magical land of Fluffusenhaven... <laughs> ...lived Tunder the Mediocre Tiger. He was called Mediocre, jumped on his stallion and rode that horse thief down, and then to teach me a lesson about the justice system, Granddaddy dragged that horse thief into court with me as the star witness. I had to testify in front of a packed courtroom. You must have been terrified. Oh, honey, I was. I didn't know what to wear. 
Make that two hours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ma. Actually, we never got to the party at all. The Board of Health threatens us. <laughs> I can't do it. Forget the Bahamas. How about dinner? <laughs> Dorothy, listen. What? I have to tell you something. What? What, what, what? Movements. Eine kleine Not music. <laughs> That's right. How did you know that? Well, they always play it during the chases on the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner show. <laughs> there, was, there was this one where if you're more fulfilled... Well, I'll tell you what would make her feel more fulfilled. Flash. <laughs> a hobby. Oh, I thought you meant, you know, a man. <laughs> you got a better hobby? <laughs> I don't think a hobby is the answer for Ma. But what do you think is? Oh, I wish I knew. Both to know that I don't enjoy failing anybody, especially this kid. But he's lazy. In his book report on A Tale of Two Cities, he said he liked them both, but he really prefers Minneapolis, because that's where Prince is from. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Rose. Oh, hi, honey. Well, what happened, Ida? I didn't know, nobody told me, that it cost money to get old. I just figured that was one thing you'd get for free. <laughs> it isn't. The home costs money, the doctors cost money, medicine costs... <laughs> Dorothy, look at this old picture I found. That's me at 15, standing next to my Uncle Hingeblotter. Uh, who's the other guy? Oh, that's my uncle's half-brother, Inca Blotter. <laughs> oh, girls, we have a big problem. Listen, you are not the woman you used to be. I'd feel terrible if something happened to you. At my age, I can't worry about that. This is special. I've made up my mind. I'm going. Oh, huh? then I'm wasting my breath. You're a grown woman. I can't tell you what to do. I know. Now, lend me $1,200 for the airfare. <laughs> important man in my life but as much as I cared about him I can't help but care about you too you're like a sister to me and I can't throw that away so I forgive you for being a moralless emotionally needy <laughs> oh darling oh he asked me to say goodbye oh me. honey I'm so sorry Boy, I could sure use a family hug right now. Oh, oh darling. Oh, 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 Dorothy, you've had a rough day. I'll tell you what. You go on and get into bed, and I'll bring you a nice cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, come on, Ma. You can see your lips moving. <laughs> so? Well, a ventriloquist's lips aren't supposed to move, Sophia. Is that common knowledge? I'm afraid so, Ma. I mean, otherwise, it would just be you talking with a sock on your hand. <laughs> you were fat! Every little girl goes through that ugly stage. Yeah, ugly, yes, but this is ugly and fat! <laughs> All right! <laughs> you seem to be getting a little bit... He wants to cut it down. Yeah, look. 60 people live on that block, and all of them have signed this petition to save the tree. Concrete's cleaner. They'll get used to it. Mrs. Claxton, please. I also have pictures of the tree that I'd like you all to take a look at. You want to look at pictures? I've got pictures. <laughs> but it's a dream come true. I don't understand. You should have that printed on a T-shirt. <laughs> We're opening the old business again. A million dollar idea deserves a second chance. Ma, come on. You're both over 80. Starting a business is hard work. Yeah, for amateurs, but we've already done... ...to stand anymore. You don't even like him. You practically begged me to go out with him to get him off your back. 
Now you're angry because I, I didn't have a terrible time? Why do you care? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm terribly upset because I'm letting this get me terribly <laughs> upset. Oh, Blanche, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh. Listen, last night... Hello, everybody. Hi. Is there somewhere we could be alone? Well, can't it wait till after dinner? No. All right, I'm flexible. But of course, you know that already. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to ask you something now. You're in almost two years. It's the curse I don't have. <laughs> I got it, nobody told me. I didn't get it, nobody told me. I figured this is life and went back to my meatballs. <laughs> and then when I stopped, it just happened. Away with it. Same reason a dog licks himself, Dorothy. <laughs> because he can. Where's Stan? That wasn't Stan at the door. Oh, who was it? Now, Dorothy, just stay calm. Just relax and don't do anything you'll be seeing. Ma, I need to talk to someone. Sure, come in. I can hear Pavarotti live from the net anytime. <laughs> What's the problem? Ma, I'm upset about Rose. Me too. I thought I was finally going to get a room with some sunlight for your reservations to the banquet. Oh, thanks, Pa. She was very disappointed you all aren't coming. And I think it's because one of you won the big award. You mean the best friend of the Friends of Good Health Award? Yeah. Why? What'd she say? It wasn't what she said, it was what she didn't say. What didn't she say? <laughs> How the hell do I know she... That happened. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Dorothy. Dorothy. I know it sounds impetuous. I know we just met, but I'm at that stage in my life where I can't afford to waste time, Dorothy. I love you. The book can... and study. Study, 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 study. No game Saturday, Billy. I'm sorry. Everybody, I'll see you at practice tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Rose. You just taught a bunch of eight-year-old boys that it's more important to win than to play by the rules. Big deal to his pension. He's dead. How much does he need? <laughs> you know what gets me mad about this whole thing? All those years Charlie put into that job just for the pension. He used to say, Rose, I hate selling horseshoes, but if I do it long enough, you'll be set for... Boy, you will not live to be a paper man. <laughs> Florida is having a drought. In the entire state, there is not enough water to make a cup of tea. He finds a puddle. What are you doing? She's sleeping. You know, when I was a little kid, I got angry with my mother and father, and I imagined that I had different parents. A who who? Well, it's really silly. Oh, oh come on, a who? Tell us. Well, my dad was Errol Flynn. <gasps> And my mother was Amelia Earhart. <laughs> I wanted Dad all to myself. Hello. Oh, just a minute. Blanche, it's for you. It's Charmaine again. Okay. Don't you think you should talk to her? She's still here. And it started making a wheezing, coughing, rattling kind of a sound every time it goes up a hill. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Those are the sounds Tony Triano made the night they wheeled him out of the home on a gurney. <laughs> that car is in terrific condition. All right, sometimes it's a little hard to turn over in the morning. Tony Triano? We're gonna miss her, aren't we, Jake? We're gonna miss her, aren't we, boy? Mr. Hubbard, I know it's a lot to ask at a time like this, but I've been finding it a bit much, you know, worrying about water bowls and then morning walks and all. I called. I canceled. What do you mean? We are not giving away Fluffy, Muffy, Buffy, and Joanne. <laughs> Rose, they are non-breeding minks who eat their weight in food every day, Joanne. We are not giving them away, Dorothy. I mean, this is their home They now. eat their weight in food every day? When I'm depressed, so do I. 
who later tater your spuddy stand. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, 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 one beer, one beer in high school and my life is ruined. <laughs> He's trying to buy my love. He's trying to buy my kids' love. If I had a dollar for every time Stan has screwed up our lives. There you go. Bill has film in it. Oh, I'll bet these are the pictures from Charlie's last birthday. I took most of our savings and I, I bought him a couple of acres of the most beautiful land in Minnesota. Oh, girls, you should have seen the look on his face when it was delivered. <laughs> Singing. Well, she just frozen solid. Oh, no. Melissa. Oh, gosh. Melissa? That's your music, Melissa. <laughs> Honey, do you remember the words? Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Come on, sweetheart, say. Brush off the clouds and chill. And <laughs> Oh, thank you, Blanche. That was a great idea. It's great bringing two idiots closer together. I think that's the motto of the St. Olaf Telephone Company. I'm getting nervous. Just think to... Lorraine is kind of black. <laughs> kind of black. <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean, kind of black? I mean, that's, uh, that's like being kind of Spanish. <laughs> you know, either you want... But Shady Pines making boats out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> I've had it. I've just had it. In the past few days, I have been turned down for every available part-time job in Dade County that didn't involve selling cocaine. <laughs> oh... My name's Biff. I'm a drifter. My story isn't a pretty one, but it's one that needs to be told. It was 1950... Uh, excuse me. My friend here would like to apply for a library card. What friend? <laughs> oh, the uh, one who's checking out everything but the books. Hi, what you reading? Oh, you must be a passionate man. Females to fondle? Call a big mistake. Voila. Oh, will you? <laughs> All my keys are bent. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Applaud them. Missed her so much. She's always been my favorite. I tell you, it sure makes me appreciate the special relationship I have with my daughter. Pussycat. Yes, Ma. Dial your sister for me. I never remember the area code. <laughs> a yankee, a yankee. That is inc incredible. And you think they made a movie about that deadbeat Gandhi. <laughs> Well, there's a, a story like this that hasn't been told. It was so no one would notice. You don't know how much I wanted to hug you. I just had to see my dumpling on her wedding day. Eight. Why can't you people see that there's another point of view? Let's get away from here. We've got more. Get your hands off me! And I am sorry about embarrassing you and your friends, but that doesn't change the fact that I slept with Michael. Oh, honey, I so wanted your first time to be special. <laughs> it was, Mom. Four years. Just relax. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. Are your hands all right? Please, they're fine. He never threw a punch. Oh, oh that's, that's all behind you. Now, Peppy, this is the moment you wanted. Good luck.
before the hospital, naked under a sheet with strange men, inspecting my body with cold metal instruments. Which reminds me, has that Tyler returned my call? <laughs> Come on, Blanche, we need to rehearse some more. Will you help us, Dorothy? Oh, well, all right. Maybe we can find an old rug to sharpen our claws on. Here, yeah, how about the one on Stanley's head? I guess, uh, it's time to go. You will hold my hand? Sure, I will. I'm so glad I don't have to go alone. Uh, you remember how we met? Yes, about eight years ago. Anybody seen my purse? Oh, God, Mom, how could you do this? Relax, Dorothy. I probably left it at Sonny's place. Of course you did, right next to his body. How did you know? Mom, <laughs> it's all over the front page of today's paper. Oh. That's not Sonny, that's a dead guy. <laughs> of course he is. A bunch. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody thinking what I'm thinking? That that was a really mean thing to say. <laughs> As a general rule, Rose, you should not be the first to answer. <laughs> Can we rip them up? Wait a minute, Rose. Have you seen the rest of these pictures? And I'd rather not. Honey, I think there's some mistake. Look, here's Blanche in bed with Charlie, but this one's Blanche in bed with a pontoon boat. <laughs> here's Blanche in bed with a big orange from the... That was the worst night I've ever spent in bed with a woman in my life. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ham. Are you saying the only reason you've kept turning me down is because of the bad time you had that night? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, Blanche, this changes everything. <laughs> There's all that massive unemployment. Now I'm going into my room. Call me when the cops come. We're all employed, Dorothy, except your mother. <laughs> I wouldn't call that massive. <laughs> Good night, Rose. <laughs> Go to sleep, sweetheart. Pray for brains. I'll call her brother Angelo. He'll know where she is. Rose, this is terrible. What do you think, Dorothy? This is going to do. Remember what she was like when you lost her keys? <laughs> she uprooted a mighty sequoia. I don't feel any tingling. When's it going to hit me? I was making a souffle and it got away from me. You know, we ought to go to that all night market more often. Oh, why, Rose? They're so much more expensive. Oh, maybe so, but where else can you get beef, jerky, and family circle this time of night? Where <laughs> else? Shh! Please keep it down. The baby's asleep. Isn't this amazing? When the diapers get dirty, the. Oh, oh, boy. Problems, problems, problems. My mother wanted me to be a priest, but no, I had to pursue the flashy world of academics. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, sit down. Thank sit down. you. Uh, Dean Tucker, my name is Blanche Devereaux, and I have something extremely important to discuss with you. Uh, could this, could this wait on it? Ridiculous. The curse works, believe me. I've used it before. Uh, when? Baltimore Colts, New York Jets, 1969. Draw your own conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> To sleep. She's asleep already, Sophia. What? After I spent all day making her the Sicilian sleeping potion? Oh, Ma, come on. Hey, this saved my Uncle Giuseppe's life. One swig and he slept through the Allied invasion. Photographs <laughs> in an empty storefront that used to be Jack Kemp's campaign headquarters. <laughs> Rose, he's wearing a cape and a mask. He's wearing a cape and a mask. Wait a minute. Is this guy an insurance salesman named Marshall Herskovitz? <laughs> That's his car. You and I team up and enter, huh? No, I can't. I'm too busy. I'm sure I can find your partner, Dorothy. You're too busy doing what? Here. We'll be in Miami Thursday. Hope to see you. Respectfully yours, 
Augustine Bagatelli. Who is Augustine Bagatelli? No. Woe is me. Woe, oh, woe is me. Problem, Blanche? Yes. It's my hair. It has split ends. It's dull and listless. It makes my face look... It's age. Well, I do not believe it. I simply do not believe it. What, Blanche? Oh, Dorothy, I just talked to somebody back home, and they are doing the most horrible thing. They are tearing down the most important building in Blanche Devereaux's family history. Oh, my God, they're tearing down Mattress World. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> you did. You didn't? No. Oh, it was nice. I mean, being near Charlie was nice. But it was five years before I knew what made your eyes go back in your head. When I was at the library, they said that your library card had expired five years ago. Really? Where could I have been? <laughs> oh, yeah. Locked in an old age home. <laughs> Dorothy, I cannot go through with it. I'm going to call You just take a sleeping pill. Oh, I don't like to take pills. I get slap happy and say silly things. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that to happen. Hi, it's me, Stan. What do you want? Announcement to me. A mess of something. I'll scare us up a mess of something. Anyway. I've been doing a lot of soul searching, and as long as the family... Then what, Blanche? Dog years? <laughs> I'm, I'm Blanche. I'm Dorothy's roommate. Would you get the door? <laughs> Dorothy's told me a great deal about you. Well, she seems to have left out what was with him, thinking, what in the world does this man like about me? So you went back to Tom because you know what he likes. Yes, but the whole time I was with him, I was miserable because I wanted to be with John. Well, then tell all this to John. I guess that is my only choice. Yes, I'm going to look him up tonight and I'm going to patch things up. Because you're a schmuck? <laughs> Did you take this seminar? Stan, I think we've heard enough. Look, I've gone through a life-changing experience. I feel like I'm free to love anybody. Oh, please. You said the same thing after you had your bisector. Just a little depressed. Really? You know, I'm depressed, too. What are you depressed about? Alvin and I had a fight. I'm making a scarf for a friend I don't have anymore. I know exactly how you feel. I made these for Fernando. <laughs> You broke up with that. Uh-oh. I don't think Serafina's a worthy opponent for me anymore. Why not, Sophia? I'm afraid she's losing it. I just got her next chess move. She bit four spades. <laughs> well, the reviews are finally in. She melted in Where the... exactly are your lawn? <laughs> Rose, it doesn't matter. Just listen. She melted into his arms, faint now with the animal musk of him. I didn't know people had loins. <laughs> I've heard a loin of pork. <laughs> Real cold feels like. I guess I've gotten used to tropical weather. You here all the way from Nebraska? Miami. Miami. Back closer to Omaha or Lincoln. <laughs> Gee, it's great to be home. <laughs> They told me in Minneapolis that I could change buses here. Hey, go to Nima Marcus sometime, see if they treat you any better. <laughs> How we doing? Honey, I don't think we've sold a thing. I don't get it. I'll give you a dollar for these Elvis Presley salt and pepper shakers. A dollar? I will have you know the day I bought these salt and pepper shakers at the Graceland gift shop. I Meanwhile, Charlie and I got closer. You know what happened after that? Well, did Buzz ever get married? No, he just traveled the world playing his music. So, uh, how did you finally get over Buzz? I never really did entirely. 
to this day, whenever I see a man drop his pants, some little part of me wants to go, <laughs> Criticize him? Watch me. Oh, Dorothy, don't ever antagonize a man who could answer the question, you and what are me? <laughs> What's your gripe with the president, anyway? He calls himself the education president, but our education system has some serious problems. I see the illiteracy. I see dropouts. Why don't you help me, too? Well, I do have George's old bowling ball bag. <laughs> and I need your solemn promises that you'll have your heads frozen, oh, too. No, 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 Rose, I don't think so. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. And friends do little things for me. Oh. <laughs> Here's the lady. I thought you always milked a cow sitting on a stool. No, no. You, Alice had to sit on a stool. <laughs> you see, she was involved in this nasty plowing accident. <laughs> it was during spring planting, and Daddy had hitched her up to the plow. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> God, Blanche, this bed is vibrating. It better be at these prices. <laughs> Blanche, I don't think any of this was a very good idea. I know what you need. Some music. You need some nice, soothing music. Right there ahead of us. But when we pulled up to Bubba's Chapel of Bliss <laughs> and Tackle Shop, <laughs> there you were. Well... I was ready for the fight of my life, but all you said was, all the years of love and companionship, Fernando and I are meant to part company, I'll just have to accept that. Time to time, life deals you an unfriendly hand. There's nothing you can do about it. I guess there's a lesson to be learned here. Sometimes life just isn't fair, kiddo. Change <laughs> the ice cream scoops in an obscene way. <laughs> because by the time I would take it home to show my father the... Oh, when Stan and I were married Stan was crying, I was crying, Ma was crying <laughs> all for different reasons but if you didn't know us, it looked touching Oh, Stan and I are getting married again I mean, I've done this before, why am I so nervous? I always... Well, if it ain't the kinfolk. Ma, where did you get that outfit? I bought it. People, we switch now to Moscow. Let's have a little quiet here. That was a great speech. Thank you, Your Honor. But uh, help me out here. How about something from a law book? Okay. The fracas occurred on a seaside dock. And up the stairs. Rose, you're not skipping. <laughs> Sorry. The point is, it was shame that kept Aunt Katrina from loving slow Ingmar. And it ruined her life. Oh, don't let that happen to you, Sophia. Let go of the shame. So what if he was different? <laughs> Ma, come home. I'll come home when I'm good and ready. Look, Ma, you have been sick, and I know what's best for you. Now I'm taking you home, and nothing is going to stop me. Damn it. Should have known it was you. Please, Mr. Porter, I can handle her. You haven't been able to handle her so far. Maybe I can handle her. Who are you having a problem with? You. Hey. It was an accident, pussycat. Don't worry about it. That's it? That's all you have to say? Uh-huh. Oh, Ma, please yell at me. Please scream at me. Please make me feel guilty. I mean, if you don't say anything, I'll feel twice as bad. I know. I'm not an amateur at this. <laughs> I've never been so depressed in all my life. 
Ma, it doesn't mean anything. Fifty is just a number. You don't understand, Dorothy. I always had plans, dreams, things I wanted to accomplish by the time I was fifty. What kind of dreams? Well, Flip, you were saying? <laughs> Never mind. You think the rain is ever going to let up? Uh, you know something? I honestly don't care. Who needs outside distractions? What we have here is more important. What we have here is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Mom, where are you going? Some place where there are no... We can go anywhere and do anything you want on God's magnificent earth. Boy, you're showing a good mood for a Sunday morning. Uh-oh. Uh, Sarah and I can wait in the kitchen if you need a few minutes to say goodbye to Uncle Whoever. No, 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 nothing like that. Well, I thought maybe the three of us could go to church together just like... Now, walking. you know what today was, Rose? It was my birthday. Blanche. Now, don't start your yammering. It was one of the best birthdays I have ever had. I did some soul searching and it occurred to me that I'm a vibrant, energetic woman. I mean, I must still have some life left in me if I can make Mel Bushman's head snap back like that. <laughs> You mean old Pez here? But the way I see it is that you gave the stand to Gloria. But the stand is not a stick. He's not a Betsy Wetsy. He's not a rubber ball. He's a man. You are so wise. I listen to a lot of talk of radio. I think you love... Oh, sure. Blanche, Blanche, wake up. People are looking at you. What? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I was having an erotic dream. <laughs> you know, your father used to do a thing with feathers when we were first married. But he was too late. <laughs> People only use the uh when a really big storm is a coming or a brewing, so grab a sack and start a shoveling. <laughs> Ma, the weather report said nothing about a hurricane. Ida Pearlberg, down at the senior center, woke up this morning with a leg cramp. Need I say more? <laughs> oh, so. Wait a minute, what's this here? To the fairest rose I've seen until tonight, Mr. Terrific. He asked me out. We're going to dinner. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, actually not. You spent 30 seconds getting an autograph. You don't even know the guy. Don't. <laughs> And you remember that time Big Daddy caught us skinny dipping with those boys? And you told him it was our Bible study group just practicing baptizing. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked, too, if you hadn't come up screaming, Hey, y'all, things look bigger underwater. They sent a bullet to bite on. <laughs> Your choice, Blanche, a razor or a cream remover? Cheesecake. <laughs> This reminds me of the first time I ever shaved my legs. It was at a slumber party when I was 11 years old. What's a slumber party without snacks? <laughs> Instead of cheesecake, let's have oatmeal cookies. I meant to get a jacket. Thank you, Rose. You know, we are so excited about what you two are doing. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. No, I wish I was so sure. What do you mean? Well, I'm having second thoughts. About what? Well, when I met Blanche, I thought uh, she would be the perfect model for the piece I had in mind. You know, sexy, sassy, exciting. <gasps> But no. Yeah, she's guilty. I saw her. <laughs> Please sit down. Mrs. Petrillo, where were you on the night of September 4th, 1985? Did you see Awakenings? Throw a ball at me. <laughs> How the hell should I know? I don't even remember what color underwear I'm wearing. Ma, the beginning of September. Oh, is it'll be fun. You like square dancing. No, oh, thanks. Oh, Rose, you're only going to be dancing with men. You can't kill them by doing that. <laughs> Nope, no more men. That's it for me. No more man. My God, I would die. I would just die. It's not like no more food, Blanche. It's worse. <laughs> there are many women who live happy. Senor Bill, por favor. Mi hijo tiene fiebre. Es solamente un bebé. Excuse me. Here. You give your son this every four hours. And if his fever doesn't go down, you take him to see El Doctor Siegel at 11th and Lincoln. Gracias. De nada. Oh. Yes, yes, I am. <clears throat> Are you, uh, own seven hardware stores? Yeah, yep, yeah, I do. <laughs> so...
kept a diary about raising two pigs. You know another way to get a 4-H pig diary badge? <laughs> oh, my God. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. What do you say we just forget the whole thing? Congratulations! You weren't married in a white dress? Oh, Rose, come on. I mean, it's one... Well, then why not tease him about his taste and friends? <laughs> oh, that must be Jerry now. And remember the roast. I really want to nail him. So keep your eyes peeled for any oddities or quirks. Hi, it's me, Stan. <laughs> come on with me. I mean, for dinner. <laughs> Well, maybe next week, or oh, my roommates would love to meet you. Sure, what's a good night? Uh, bingo night. Any other time, I'd have to introduce you to my mother. <laughs> but I still don't understand. The table looked fine, right? <laughs> the point I was trying to make is that we have had a lot of great late night talks right here yeah and most of them have been about sex oh well of course we do talk about sex but we talk about other <laughs> Skins, and the blonde has the ultra sensitive in black. William Fuser, twelve ninety five. The black. I get those antique silver earrings that you never let me borrow. You're on. No, come on, Blanche. Blanche, I mean, do you want to have a side bet with me? Well, I would, Rose, but everything you own is so damn ugly. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to whip your butt. <laughs> when you spend that much time with people who are old and sick and frail. Oh, that reminds me, I got Mahjong tomorrow. <laughs> well, anyway, we wanted to pick up your spirits, Rose, so close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, very funny, Blair. This is very important, Rose. It might take a couple of hours, so relax and get comfortable. <laughs> the last time someone said that to me, I had two pigs on my back and I was pushing a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Why? You have ever read a scientific journal? Believe what you want, see if I care. Hypersexual bitch. <laughs> You are Rose. Good. Honey, I'm borrowing. I wonder if he knows which one of us he wants. I mean, he told me that I had something that Blanche didn't have, and he probably told Dorothy she had something that I don't. Maybe now he's back to Blanche. I, we always did our own plumbing on the farm. Of course, we didn't actually get plumbing till I was 18. <laughs> Rose, tell me something. How difficult would it be for us to repair that bathroom ourselves? Well, it wouldn't be difficult at all. Oh, forget it. Forget it. It's a crazy idea. You got that right. <laughs> Six more numbers. Seal Kessler's jumping up and down, shouting, I'm rich, I'm rich. Of course, she also does this every Thursday morning on the boardwalk to attract men. <laughs> Frankly, I think the whole thing was fixed. That's why I told Father Donatelli I'm going to ask Hugh Downs to investigate. <laughs> I guess they sent you over to shut me. I was playing a little joke on you. Hello, Rose. <laughs> One second, Charlie. What do you mean it wasn't you, so <laughs> Rose, Ma was playing a very mean trick on you, although now I can see the temptation. <laughs> Look, we are having better fun than the dinner that excited you again. 
महान सुख अंबर मनन दिल दर सारी तंज महान हम से लोग प्रिय नेते अरविंद आनंद समान हम से लोग प्रिय नेते अरविंद आनंद समान